Hello, and welcome to the third installment of Shogi for Chess Players. In this video, we're going to look at how the pieces move and promote. Let's begin by looking at the initial position of the pieces. This is how where the pieces start at the beginning of the game. We have a row of pawns on the third rank. We have lances in the corner. Next to those, we have knights. Next to the knights, we have silver generals. And next to the silver generals, we have gold generals, a king in the middle. Here on the second rank, we have a rook and a bishop. Here are the pieces that move the same in shogi as they do in chess. The king moves one space in any direction. The rook moves along the files or along the ranks any number of spaces. The bishop moves along the diagonals any number of spaces. Notice that the bishop cannot leap over this piece. If you play chess, you're already familiar with that. Let me move the rook here, and you'll notice that the king cannot move here, here, or here, because that would put it into check. Also note that the king and the rook are not capable of castling in shogi. Uh, you may notice from the original initial position that the king and the rook begin on different ranks. So these two pieces cannot castle. But otherwise they move the same as they do in chess. Here we have pieces which move differently than they do in chess but which do correspond to pieces in chess. Here is the pawn. It moves one space forward. As you know the pawn in chess also moves one space forward but this pawn moves and captures one space forward. For example, I put a piece in front of the pawn and that pawn is able to capture the piece. Also, if I put a piece here, you'll notice it's not able to capture that piece. The knight leaps forward two ranks and one file to the side. Uh, this is the same as the knight in chess can leap except to fewer spaces than the knight in chess can leap. I mean, the chess knight can leap to these two spaces as well, but the shogi knight cannot leap to the other spaces that a knight in chess can. Notice when I do this, and I'll just back up here, this knight can move here or here. It moves in the other direction. And this pawn can move here. The direction that these pieces can move depends upon which side they belong to. Know that these are both forward moving pieces only. They do not move backwards or sideways. Next we have pieces and shogi which are not in chess at all. Here we have the gold general represented by a circle and a dot, which is the alchemical symbol for gold. This piece moves one space orthogonally, which is through the sides, like a rook, or one space forward. Here's the silver general represented by the crescent moon, which is the alchemical symbol for silver, and this piece moves one space diagonally, or one space forward. Notice that these two pieces are related to each other like the rook and the bishop are in chess. Because this piece moves orthogonally like a rook, this piece moves diagonally like a bishop, except that both pieces also move forwards. So this has the forward diagonal moves, and this has the forward orthogonal move. Here we have the lance represented by an arrow in the shape of a one-way sign because it moves in only one direction. The lance moves just as a rook does, but it moves forward only. Now if I move one piece here, I can show you how the pieces on the other side move. This, the silver general here moves one space diagonally or one space forward. This moves one space orthogonally or one space forward. And this moves forward any number of spaces. Now we have the promoted pieces 
that move as gold generals. We have the promoted silver general, the promoted knight, the promoted lance, and the promoted pawn, also called a token. See, that moves as a gold general also. This moves as a gold general, and so does this. If I move this here, you can see how these other pieces move. They all move as a gold general moving in the other direction. Notice that there is no promoted gold general. Gold generals do not promote. Neither do kings. Next we have the promoted bishop and the promoted rook. The promoted rook is called a dragon king and it moves as a rook or as a king. The promoted bishop is called a dragon horse and it moves as a bishop or as a king. We now turn to how pieces promote. A piece promotes when it moves into, within, or from the last three ranks on the board. For a black side, black is the player who moves first and begins on this side. If black moves within these three ranks, which are the horizontal rows on the board, or moves from these ranks or moves within these ranks, uh, it may promote its piece if that piece is capable of promotion. And here we have some of the pieces in the game which are capable of promotion. If I move a pawn here, I have a choice of promoting it to a token or leaving it as a pawn. I'll promote it. And he does the same, the program does the same thing. Here, here I have a knight and I'll move it here. I can leave it as a knight or I can promote it. And here I have another knight. I'll move it here. And notice that this time this promotion was mandatory. It did not offer me a choice of whether to promote or not to promote. And the reason for this is because a knight would have no legal move from this space. A knight always moves two ranks forward and there's only one rank left on the board after this space. So it would have no place to go as a knight. The general rule here is that a piece must promote if it lands on a space where it would have no legal move from given its current powers of movement. This applies to the knights, to the pawns, and to the lances. Here's a lance. If I move this lance here, I have the choice of leaving it as a lance or promoting it. Backing up a moment, but if I move this lance here, the promotion is mandatory. Okay. Also, we'll notice that here I'm going to keep it a pawn this time. If I move within the three ranks, I can still promote. Or take this uh, silver general. The silver general always has the option of remaining a silver general or of promoting. And unlike the other pieces shown here, the silver general can move backwards. And in doing so, if it moves out of the promotion zone, it's capable of promoting, as I have just, just done here. All right, let's go back to the bishop and the rook. If I move this rook, here, for example, I have the option of promoting to a dragon king or to a rook. Let's keep it a rook. And now this is in check. It just moved out of the way. So I can move the rook within the promotion zone. I still have the option of promoting or not promoting. Here I'll promote. So remember, the general rule is that a piece may promote if it moves within the promotion zone to the promotion zone or from the promotion zone, which is the last three ranks of the board for that player. And that's what you need to know about promotion. Join us next time for uh, section four of Shogi for Chess Players.